I love my synthesizers.com modular synthesizer. Um, it's got the large knobs, quarter inch jacks. Um, it's great to work with. And it's also, uh, each module is uh, flexible. Um, th there are often jumpers behind the panel that will let you modify the behavior of the module. In this case, the Q109 envelope generator has a jumper. Um, it's got two jumpers actually, but one jumper will let you extend the times for the attack, decay, and release um, with a jumper. Uh, some people, and this is pretty well documented, um, it, it w will add a switch to be able to jumper and unjumper that uh, time with a front panel switch. And that's what I've done. I have to remove the uh, screw here uh, on this side that was uh, connected to the standoff, connected to the circuit board, of course. Uh, I removed that. I had to... Uh, drill the hole out to uh, a quarter inch to be able to fit this standard miniature um, single pole double throw switch. Um, and in the middle position, it's actually on, off, on with no function down here at this point. So in the middle position, it's the normal operation of the um, envelope generator, which is going into um, the voltage control of the uh, transistor ladder filter with noise going into it. So let's listen to uh, this decay timing um, where it's set to uh, max with a normal setting. Notice after it goes out of range, if you will, out of audio range, it still takes a minute for this to die out. So let's switch it to the jumpered position, which gives about a 4x um, timing difference, I think. I haven't done the math. And now it's kind of out of range, but it's going to take a good long while for this to finally die out. And it's starting to fade now, and you can see how slowly it's fading. Um, but that's the demo. Just bringing this uh, J5 jumper uh, to the front panel in a... Um, relatively unobtrusive way by replacing this standoff and drilling out the hole a bit.